All right. Question 19, classic nomenclature. Um, question, right? We've got an ester. Esters are named in two parts, right? They're named in their carboxylic acid part, right? So here's the carboxylic acid half of the ester, and they're named, that's the base name, and then they're named in the prefix. The prefix comes from the alcohol side of that ester. So we don't need to number anything because essentially we're naming the number in two halves, right? The base name comes from the ester side, and then which came from the carboxylic acid, and then the prefix would come from the alcohol side. So I have one, two, three, four carbons. So four carbons is butane. But when we name an ester, we drop the E and add O-A-T-E. So that becomes butanoate. And then the prefix, this carbon is three carbons. That group is three carbons. And it's a isomer of propane. So that is isopropyl. Butanoate. All right, so choice B, it's an isomer of propane. So if it was just a straight chain, right? So if it was like this, CH2, CH2, CH3, right? That would be propyl butanoate because that's a straight chain. Um, this is on that little table I gave you, right? If it's three carbons, but it's kind of branched in this way where I've got carbon, methyl group, methyl group, that's isopropyl group. So just telling you it's like an isomer of propane. So it still contains three carbons, but it's not exactly a straight chain three carbon like propane. Yep. And then question 23 looks to be the last question. I'll jump back to question 14 there. Um, question 23, what is the IUPAC name for the structure below? All right, so I'll draw this out in a way that might be a little bit easier to see. So I've got carbon, 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 alcohol, carbon, carbon, methyl group, carbon, carbon, ah, tricky, and then methyl group. So this structure that I'm drawing is the same structure that's shown below, unless I made a mistake somewhere. So to name this structure, one, two, yep. Um, right, first step, find the longest continuous carbon chain that contains the alcohol plea, um, because that's, that's the most important feature now. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight carbons. Um, and we wanna number this in a way that gets us our alcohol with the lowest number possible. So if I number this from the left, I would get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Putting that all together, got an alcohol, a third carbon, a methyl group here, and a methyl group here. So five, seven, dimethyl, two methyl groups on the fifth carbon, one on the seventh carbon, eight carbon chain is oct, right? Octane, we drop the E and we add an OL indicating on the third carbon we have an alcohol group. So Sophia asked, I know this is a private question, Sophia, but um, it's a good question, right? Sophia asked, how do we know that we're targeting the hydroxyl group and not the methyl groups anymore? So when it's just a regular alkane and you just have carbon and hydrogen, 
the most important feature are the branches. Then if you add in carbon double bonds, those become the most important feature or triple bonds. Those are the most important feature. And then when you add in functional groups, those become the most important feature in the molecule because they change the prior, the, the properties of the molecule. So now that takes precedence, right? We want that hydroxyl group, the most important feature to have the lowest number possible. Um, I will give you the full expanded format on the exam for any structure that you have to name, right? Um, question 21 came in as well, right? Uh, it's an aldehyde. And we have, right, the longest continuous chain, one, two, three, four, five. So our aldehyde should be the lowest number possible. So we're going to start there with one, two, three, four, five. So I have a methyl group on the second and the fourth carbon. So two, four, dimethyl. Five carbon chain is pent. And the ending for an aldehyde is AL. Um, so that aldehyde on the first carbon. Um, so two, four, dimethyl pentane, one all, or probably it would just take this number here, choice C as well, where it doesn't number it, basically saying that you're assuming that it's on the first carbon there for question 21. 